Hello, Halea Priest here. We're going to work with the stomach meridian today, stomach 36, probably one of my favorite points and most important points on the body. And I'm going to do a part A and part B. So part A will just be talking about the stomach meridian and this particular acupoint. And then part B in the next video will just be the tapping so that if you need inspiration and want to tap along, I'll do it with you. It'll just take a few minutes. But what we're looking at is stomach 36. You can always Google it, but I'll, I have a photo here of where it's located. If you go to your knee, the outside of your knee, and you come down between the two bones, it's right at the top of that crook. You don't have to get it perfectly. And I'll show you on mine. So just come right down and find that crook. And you just want to get right there, okay? And I'll pull up my other pants. So we, the meridians run on both sides of the body. And they are energy pathways. And it's how our bodies are healthy and whole and hold together is in part through these meridian lines. We have 12 of them in our bodies that are connected to organs. So stomach and spleen work together to help us digest our food, help us feel balanced and whole in the world. So stomach 36 is called three mile point. And there's an old Japanese folk tale that a Japanese uh, weary traveler couldn't make it to his or her or their destination. And so they tapped the stomach 36 point a whole bunch and they walked three more miles till they got home. So that's where the name comes from. It also has a great name, a great story also that another folk tale, well, a folk tale, Japanese folk tale that uh, a Japanese farmer lived to be 234 years old and his wife and children also lived a very long time. And how that happened was that he he did moxa, which is a kind of Chinese medicine um, intervention. But basically, he worked with stomach 36 every day of his life. And then there's a <clears throat> an old haiku master. This is from 1689. And he wrote in his diary, I have sewn a part of my undergarments. I have changed the strings of my hat. I have burnt moxa on my stomach 36. My mind is now totally occupied with the moon over the Matsushima Islands. All right, so stomach 36 works with pretty much any digestive issue that you have. If you have something going on, do this point. It's one of my favorites. It, it Probably right now it is my favorite and most important point for me to work on. It calms the mind. It regulates the stomach. It also strengthens spleen. So if you have a lot of stress, which are usually modern science knows that basically 100% of every single medical condition is exacerbated by stress. So we need to work with the stress levels. And it also builds immunity through strengthening our, our aura, our energy field, the Wei Qi field. And it detoxes the lower abdomen and it clears fire from the stomach. This is just an excellent point. I have um, worked with digestive issues for many, many years. And this point has come to be my absolute favorite because I can now eat a few things that I couldn't eat that would give me acid reflux and I can eat them now with the, this point. It's, I've been working with it for about two months, maybe three months every day. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you, actually we'll do it here, but then I'll do another part B so it'll just be the exercise itself. Now, always with these acupoints, you could just massage it. But I learned about tapping. It's very much a Chinese medicine way to work with it. And I don't want to make you afraid or make you feel overwhelmed. But if you have the strength, you want to tap these firmly 100 times. I was overwhelmed with that. I couldn't even do it at first. It, so it'll build also the strength in your arms. Oh, and by the way, Stomach 36, they have discovered 
through research that it helps to drop the cortisol levels in the body. So that's right there, cuts the stress levels. All right, so the way that I do it is, and you can just follow along and do as many as you can. You can build up to 100. Now 100 feels like nothing to me. I feel like I could do 200, but 100 seems enough. So we're gonna go ahead and start, just tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. Almost there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. That's it. So let me know what happens for you. And of course, always check with your primary care physician and do all that you need to to make sure it's safe for you. All right, so in part B, we'll just do the tapping so you can follow along anywhere where you're on a bus or in a car or, or sit down on the side of the trail, tap on the couch, watching TikTok or TV, or anything. You can just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, take care. Halea Priest, have a great day. Bye-bye.